and 3 axis gimbal. Just like that. This is a cam mounted on a 3 axis gimbal. Just like that. You can mount any filters on the cam. Just like that. This is the Kylin M 3 axis gimbal from Snopatech. Welcome back to Mauros Films, where stabilized videos are important even if they don't came out of a draw. Yes, Snopatech sent me this gimbal to test it and play around with it. This gimbal is completely new and it's not even out in the stores yet at this time of this video. They are in the Indiegogo campaign, so you can check them out in the description of this video. You will get the Kylin M in this DJI style all white package. There is an amazing case inside with outstanding quality. Inside the hard shell case you will find the Kylin M. I got a pre-production model so there was no paper instruction in the case. You will find inside the 3200 mAh batteries, Sony and Panasonic cables, charger and the Kylin M 3-axis stabilizer. The batteries have to be inserted after you unscrew the bottom part of the Kylin M. On the bottom there is also the standard one quarter screw tripod mount. The charger does not have any power outlet cord. It charges the batteries with a micro USB cable. There are two remote control cables for Sony and Panasonic cams. I don't have a Sony so Panasonic will work great for me. Before you start the gimbal you have to balance it. I mounted on a Manfrotto standard quick release plate on top of the original one to make my life more easy when taking my cam off the gimbal. Balancing is quite easy on the three axis parts. The roll axis, the tilt axis and the pan axis. You should get a leveled balance result before you power it on. And this knob is what I like the most on this gimbal. You can use it in two modes, the straight holding mode which is suitable for high angle and medium angle filming and the carry mode which is the best for low angle filming that actually rests your arm after the holding mode. If you used gimbals and steadicams you know what I'm talking about. The dedicated remote control cable allows you to focus and start recording with the dedicated buttons. With the joystick on the handle you are able to control the whole rotation in 360 degrees. Note that in this video I am using the 12 to 60 Lumix G Vario lens. The power button is on the right side of the handle. A fast down swipe you will switch the modes. Every time you switch the mode a different LED color will appear. Pen track mode. Roll and tilt axis are locked. Pen left and right following the air movement. Pushing the joystick up and down to tilt. The lock mode. Pen roll and tilt axis are all locked. Pushing the joystick to pen or tilt. The omni track mode. Roll axis is locked. Pen and tilt following the air movement. Roll track mode. Pen and tilt axis are locked. Gimbal can be rolled by pushing the joystick left and right, all by rolling your arm. There's also a zoom function that works only for Sony cameras and lenses, so I wasn't able to use that. There is an app called Snopa that connects through your Bluetooth mobile connection, allowing you to fine tune even more the movement of your gimbal, selecting the strength of the load and even update the firmware of the gimbal via the app. I mounted also my Sigma 60mm f1.4 on the gimbal and it worked great. The payload came approximately to 1000 grams with my Lumix G85. A desired catwalk is needed all the time to get a perfect stable shot. Remember, this is a 3-axis gimbal and it will not stabilize your walks or steps, so a little work with your hand is needed to stabilize it even more. I wasn't doing that in the following clips. What do you think about this gimbal? Well, for its extraordinary price of only $200, you get a really great lightweight gimbal that can actually carry a G85 with a weighty Sigma lens or the GH5. 
and it will also carry a Sony A7 with a 16 to 35 mm lens without problems. So you get almost the zoom crane for half the price and the carrying mode is a bonus. The carrying foldable design makes it even more foldable when carrying outside the original case. Throwing it inside your DSLR backpack will not use so much space at all. The dedicated remote control cable is a bonus and really comes handy not having to bother to start recording by pressing the actual button on your can. The stabilization is good if you handle it right. With an add-on you are also able to mount your smartphone or action cam on the same gimbal. So guys, what do you think about the Snopatech Kylin M gimbal? Does it make the perfect $200 gimbal to order right now? Well, comment section down below. Thanks again for watching, thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you enjoyed it and see you really soon. Have a nice day.